I had two uh, experiences over the last couple of weeks where I was carrying around. Why are they that way? Why won't they change? Why can't they see? And God said, boy, release yourself of that. That's not your responsibility because it was a weight on me. And before you know it, you won't feel bad about it. Because you personalize what they did. Isn't this a great ministry? So now, I'm not going to try to figure out why they did. They did because that's who they are. They couldn't do no better. So what I'm going to do right now, grab somebody. I'm going to receive my gospel today, Q. And I'm going to move myself from mental illness. I'm going to come to the conclusion that I, can't, I don't know everything and my thinking is faulty. Yes, God. Yes, God. I, I had an experience yesterday because I was just wondering, and I'm not going to call no names, but I, I went, you know, had lunch with somebody who in this church a long time ago, and it was bothering me that, and I was just dealing with it in the car, and my wife came out of the store, she said, I don't know why, am I doing something wrong? I said, baby, I'm dealing with the same thing. You start questioning yourself. Yeah. Then you give all you can to people the best you can, and they keep doing crazy stuff. Jesus. You start asking God, something got to be wrong with me. Yeah. You get like Peter. After he betrayed Jesus. Peter said, I must get that devil he was talking about. Sometimes you start questioning your own self. Yes, if you don't release yourself of the burden. They are who they are, the teachers. They going to be who they are. Ah! It's not your responsibility, Helen. Are you hearing me? Let them be who they are. See, I can say this up here, but I'm telling you personal experience. I, I was carrying a burden. I was heavy with why would people be that way? And when God released me from it, I let it go. And my wife came out and said, Am I doing something wrong? Am I jealous or something? I said, No, baby, you're fine. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Let them be who they are. But five minutes earlier, I was dealing with God in my heart with the same thing. Is something wrong with me? How can I be doing this? The, the, the thing that look every, look, I know it looks right, so why are they acting that way? It's just who they are. So I'm going to part of you right now. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Boy, I'm glad I came to church this morning. I'm going to go home and watch this myself. Glory to God. I don't, I'm going to have compassion on those now who are mentally ill and that's spiritually also. But I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to define myself, see. I made some decisions, y'all. I cut some relationships because I had to protect myself while I have compassion. Right. You have to be with like-minded people these days. That's true. That's true. If you always giving out, you can become depleted. Yes. yes. I know you already go, but I got to get it on me. If you the one who was the smartest one, the one that give everything, eventually you deal with people who are using you. Yes, say that. Say that. That's and you're going to eventually become depleted, and they're going to move on to lose you somebody else. Wow. So you need to surround yourself with people who could feed you too. That's what Paul said about the church. He said, all y'all got different gifts. Y'all feed one another. We missed that scripture. Because all the preachers want to get up here and preach to everybody. Nobody can't say nothing to him. Go ahead, sir. But Paul says, all of us have spiritual gifts. We suppose at the proper time, feed one another. Apostle, feed a prophet, apostle. Y'all didn't say nothing. It's your normal deal, with truth. Now, some people are kind of whack, so you can't hear. I mean, somebody say amen. But, but, I love your general love. I hope you are praying for me. We're going to deal with this truth and set this foundation. Surround yourself with somebody who can give something back now. Your season of becoming depleted is over. If all you're doing is giving and every time you need them, they can't show up because they got something else to do, block the number, change the number, move on. I know that's kind of hard for y'all, but I'm going to preach to somebody on the side over here. If they're never available for you, You don't have to be ashamed of moving on. Y'all, I'm the chief block. I blocked a couple of people this week. Somebody said, you got no problem blocking you. So let me release this to you. Are y'all, is this message helping y'all? Yeah. Are y'all receiving this this morning? Are you glad you came to church? Yeah. Don't this make you grow up and become responsible? Yeah. Man, live. Yeah. Get that consciousness out of there and live. Release this mental illness from here.
challenge that thing and then it come up. No, 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 that's not true. You know what I mean? That's not true. You ain't gonna make me guilty. The devil is a I, you lying. I, I, I'm saved already. I'm, I'm the redeemer of the Lord. I, I have everything that I need. You can't tell me. I don't care what I see. I know what I have. I have eternal life. And I can't live eternal life being conscious. Let's pray. Oh, Jesus, I love you. God, I want to share some love with you right now. I want to release the love of God in this sanctuary to the power of the Holy Spirit. I want you to receive glory to God and allow God's love to settle in your heart. Whatever you are in, whatever you've been through, whatever you're going through, I'm telling you right now, the love of God is greater. Grace is greater than sin. Make yourself a grace conscious. Mm. A righteousness conscious. A holiness conscious. But not from man's perspective, from God's perspective. Stand up in who you are. Know that there's nothing wrong in your life. You're exactly on God's eternal plan. You're right where you need to be right now. And you are in that season right now to receive. I feel you, Jesus. Listen. Somebody told me the other day that you're so close. Expect the toughest warfare you've ever seen. Listen. You are in your season of receiving. Don't let your conscience take you out of it now. Hear these instructions. Mm, good God from Zion. Follow. This is righteousness. Obey the instructions. That's righteousness. You're already in right standing. So when you obey the instruction, you're moving in righteousness. You're doing crazy stuff. Like God said, block some people. That's your boo. Block them. You become more righteous. Y'all ain't ready for this. This 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 ain't got too this ain't got too deep, right? You got instruction. If they don't mean no good, block them or tell them I'm moving on. Amen. Now, if you want to be righteous before God, obey that. Amen. Amen. Don't make your dress long. Go obey the instruction. Amen. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I'm preaching good here. And even even impute righteousness to you. You already imputed and received Jesus, but you grow in righteousness the more you obey. Let's pray. Oh God, I'm glad I came to church. Anybody glad you came to church? I'm glad I came to church. Somebody heart, I'm righteous. Now open your mouth and say, I'm righteous. Righteousness of God. You could never be more righteous than you are right now. After you don't fast for the next 40 days, you can still be the same righteous. If you want to go in righteousness, you obey the command of God with the same stupid, and then you begin to grow because the next time it comes easier to obey, so you begin to grow in righteousness. Father, we are grateful for your word. We are thankful for your spirit. We are thankful for your works. We believe you and we trust you. We receive all things right now, Father. Along with your flock, your children here, general love, Holy Father. And through the, and through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we receive your kingdom. We believe you. We accept the covenant. We accept the inheritance. We accept the Holy Spirit. We accept your grace. We accept your command to love. Shonda by and live by faith. We're grateful. We're grateful. I need everybody to say amen. amen. We are grateful. We are truly grateful. We trust your plan. We walk by faith and not by sight. We submit ourselves to your will. We are in the ministration, Father, of the Holy Spirit. And we yield all things to him. We present our bodies this morning as living sacrifices. And we accept your timing. We accept your will. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Drop your neighbor's hand. Clap your hands and give God praise. Amen this morning. Amen. We're going to get ready to go into our time of giving.